Is there a right way to police a protest? Some seem to think that it involves riot gear, tear gas, water cannons, rubber bullets. Or if you're not a big fan of any of the above, you might think it means the absence of police altogether. In fact, human rights law requires a much better role for law enforcement, the duty to facilitate. When you're peacefully protesting, police must neither assault nor ignore you. They should facilitate a safe protest and protect you while you exercise your human rights. Here are some things everyone should demand the police to do during protests. Communicate. Direct communication should be the main policing approach. Conflict should be prevented through dialogue and settled through de-escalation. No good conversation ever started with a tear gas canister. Remain neutral. Individual officers are free to agree or disagree with the protesters' message. But when it comes to policing protests, they must do so neutrally, regardless of their personal opinion. Presume peacefulness. Police must generally assume a protest will be peaceful. Showing up with military vehicles doesn't exactly scream, we just want to chat. Enable being seen and heard. Not only are they required to not silence protests, it's actually the police's job to enable protesters to reach their audience. Mediate conflict. All these requirements also apply to counter-protests. It's the police's duty to prevent violence by either side, but also to allow each to have their audience. We must demand no less than this.